everyone, Raven of the Retro Dev here, and today we have my good buddy Eric. Hi. And in this video, we are going to show you how to set up and use DOSBox um, with uh, IPX networking, and we're going to play Doom briefly to do that. Doom. Yeah, Doom is pretty great, man. It is great. All right, so uh, I guess I'll uh, go ahead with the server side stuff. I'll be the server this evening. And uh, so if you haven't already, you're going to need to open up a port in your firewall and forward that to the machine that you're using. And I'll leave it up to uh, portforward.com to kind of show you maybe how to do that on your router. But anyway, I have port 1234 set up to forward to my machine from my router. And that is what Raven is going to connect to. So the first thing I'm going to do, and it's really simple, I'm going to use IP X net start server base and then one two three four so and you see there it says it's already started it's because we've done this before um, in real life it'll tell you that it has started so something you can use to uh, show that it has started and kind of confirm that is IP net or IP X net status and it'll show you you know uh, any connections that you already have that 127001 that is me I am connected to the server um, and the other one you see there is Raven which may or may not be blurred out depends on if he's on a a, a VPN right now which chances are he probably is you but, gotta live on your VPNs man yeah, that's true. But anyway, I will turn it over to Raven to show you the client config. Okay, so connecting with the client is actually the easiest part. All you do is ipxnet connect, and then here you would put whatever IP you're using. Um, and then we'll check that out really quick. And then a space, and then this is where you put the port, one, two, three, four. You hit enter. And it basically instantaneously connects because it is absolutely wonderful at that. And then you can run an IPX next status and it'll tell you that the server is inactive, but the client is connected to the server, which is how it should be because, well, I am connected and not the server. So, And there's another command you can do to check the speed between everything, which you can ping, um, but you're not gonna get anything because it actually pings locally. <laughs> Which is just <laughs> why is it pinging locally? That's not helpful. That's not helpful at all. Actually, uh, it is trying to ping on port three nine three four seven. So maybe that's what it should be. I don't know. I I, I think it's pinging the local server. But... Well, that that's my local port. So oh, maybe lovely. it's trying to actually ping me. Yeah, it's pinging locally though. But I mean, but most... that's not open to my firewall, so it's never going to get to me. No. Uh, but it did tell me that there's a 71 millisecond uh, lag, which is acceptable for Doom. And I should probably sure. go into Doom. And then from this point, uh, the tricky part will be uh, every game is a little different, particularly because that's the DOS era of networking. Um, but for Doom, it's really simple, or any Doom-like game, uh, even build engine games are roughly similar. They all have a setup file. You run the setup file, and then you just go down to uh, the bottom there, and you have run a network modem serial game, or restore a uh, network modem serial save game. And you just open that up, and then you can pick some other options here, but we just want the IPX compatible network. And then once again, you know, you have a whole host of different options. You can hit space, or is it enter? No, it's enter in this one. Uh, to change the different episode, the number of players, the difficulty, whether it's a cooperative, a deathmatch, and the network socket, just leave the network socket alone. And then when you've done all of that, you just hit F10, 
and you get this lovely little thing. And now we just have to wait for Eric. He found it's instant. And there we go. Hey, you know, that actually hurts me. It hurts. This is not deathmatch. Yeah, I put it on deathmatch. I didn't put it on deathmatch. I don't want to die. I'm the server. No, I am the law. Well, the good news is Judge Dredd. I know where everything is. Dude, Judge Dredd is awesome. It is awesome. All right, where are you at? Where'd you go? I don't know. I'm outside, you see. I'm kind of mangled here, man. Outside? Oh, God. Those enemies are still here. Oh, what shoot is my keyboard doing? No. I like how you set it to deathmatch, but there's still the zombies and the demons. Ah! The good news Blew is... Blew up in my face. No. Right up in my face. Yes, it was deathmatch. I've never gotten a rocket launcher from there before. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I think since I'm the server, I got. I. Had, I was able to choose that. Ah. Well, the and good I news. I chose deathmatch while you were doing your spiel. So. Oh, okay. Well, that's very thoughtful of you not to tell me. The good news, though. Yeah. Is... Well, it wouldn't Ow. be a surprise if I didn't tell you. That's true. Or that's if true. I did tell you. <laughs> I think you can actually pick proper deathmatch, uh, or maybe not. It's kind of weird having the uh, like the the zombies and stuff still in here. And it doesn't really matter, but it, yeah. It... Oh, yeah. There's not really going against you when you have the the launcher. <laughs> I know, right? It's like the most beautiful thing ever. All right, I want to check one more thing before we yeah, end that this totally video. blew up in my face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you forgot that I am actually better at this game. Forgot that part. Oh, wait. What? Oh my gosh, you can actually just end the mission. So even though it's like deathmatch, it's like uh, it's like competitive or something? Uh, yeah. I, I've never, I've actually never played uh, deathmatch before with Doom. Like never, not once in my entire life. Yeah, so this brings up an interesting thing. So me and Raven have been talking about uh, we would love to play multiplayer DOS games with, you know, everybody. You know, anybody who wants to join. And this actually might be something that would be fun. Like, let's just get into some, like, Doom death matches. Yes. And the good news is a lot of DOS like, games. Like, and everybody can kill me because I suck at this. Yes, yes, you do. I'm going to watch him off in the distance. But, yeah, that's true. Uh, and a lot of DOS games are either Abandonware or, uh, you know, like, a lot of them become freeware. Like, uh, for example, um, uh, Command & Conquer. And I know, I know. Yeah, Command & Conquer would actually be a really fun one, too. Because yeah. uh, a lot of times, like, like me and Raven, we've been playing Command & Conquer together for, I mean, years now, but... Usually we get together and we do some skirmishes because there's not really a lot of people that play it unless we get into like open RA and stuff. I mean, and there's some people that play it, but a lot of times we're just like, you know, playing the computer and stuff. And it would be awesome if like, you know, other people would get in and, you know, uh, you know, play with us. Yeah, that would be like, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> so obviously of course ending is really simple uh you know you just quit and then you get your lovely little uh end game screen now the nice thing about dosbox and the multiplayer and the networking and so forth and so forth is um you're still connected so you could launch a totally different game which i mean we can even show we do have quite a bit of games here uh oh yeah you could get into all sorts of other games and play just like this and uh dosbox handles it you know pretty seamlessly yeah, uh, let's let's try uh, Hexen. I mean, it's almost like just logging onto Steam and playing with a buddy. Yeah, so long as one of you is port forwarded, uh, yeah. it's totally fine. Um, yeah, I think you should have Hexen. Pretty sure you have Hexen. Uh, um, 
Well, let's let's do the same thing and you know just just to you know double check. A hex is gotcha. another game that I have never played. Wow, it wants me to use the Gravis. No, 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 no. We're we're a sound blast. Um, also the the Gravis. I just, I I just I don't see the love for the Gravis. Uh, what are we doing right now? Oh wow. Okay. Uh no, Hexen. Hexen. Also, uh, interestingly enough, Hexen has its own manager called DM. So I guess we're doing this now. <laughs> this video is going to be a lot longer than intended. Um, yeah, I, I don't have Hexen. Oh, you don't have Hexen? Okay, well we'll nope. do we'll do Hexen another day. Um, no big deal. Okay, so. It, if you wish to disconnect from a server, it's really simple. You just do ipxnet disconnect, and then you know we're now off. We have vanished. Yeah, and the, on uh, my side, you could do ipxnet server stop. Stop server. Or stop server. And that's pretty much yep, that. There you it's, go. So you see that the server stopped. Yeah. It's sad. It, like you said, it's really easy. It's it's almost Steam level easy for networking. And yeah, honestly, it's very, very easy. Yeah, as long as you have a port open. If you don't have a port open, though, you're not going to ever be able to do it. But if you can open a port or, you know, you can run something like, what is it, Hamachi or, or whatever people yeah. use. Uh, like and virtual... really, that might be something that, like, I don't know if people want this, but I, I could do kind of an overview on my setup of how to open a port i probably don't use what most people would use like a like I'd a netgear say. router or something like that but the the base is the same and you're probably going to find it on you know portforward.com i think is what it is um and most people i think you know interested in you know playing doom you know, on DOS together, they they could probably figure it out. But portforward.com is going to give you a decent guide for that. Okay. And there's a link to that in the description. You don't even have to type it out. Or you, you can, I suppose, if you want to. Yeah, so I think that's pretty much all we want, really wanted to to go over, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was everything. It's, you know, it's it's one of those, it's actually really, really easy to do, which is always nice. Now, when we get to modem, that's when it's going to get. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is this is stupid easy. Yeah, modem is when it gets interesting. And this is pretty much what you're going to do with anything. I mean, pretty much anything, though. I mean, not a lot of people are going to be really messing around with modems. No. No, but you can emulate a modem in DOSBox, and we'll do that at some point. You just you just you just dial the other person as like one 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 or something. I can't remember. Oh, cool! I didn't even know that. Yeah, you can also do a serial com port as well. Nice. Yeah, and if you're using DOSBox staging or uh, DOSBox X, you can also do TCP/IP because they emulate the NE two thousand NIC. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh. Yeah, anyway, I mean, this should pretty much uh, cover any of any of your IPX needs at least. I mean, uh, I mean, any any game that works with IPS is going to totally work exactly this way. So, it with their setup program or wherever whatever the game uses to to connect to other players, it's it's going to work just like this. Yeah. And it's going to be seamless kind of behind the scenes. Yeah. Also, some games like Heroes of Might and Magic, you actually connect over uh, COM. Even though it, IPX net and stuff is like grayed out, you actually connect over COM and it just works. I actually think that the IPX tunneling just emulates everything. I, I, I really do wonder sometimes if you could just like, uh, <laughs> you know, do like a modem connection and it just like, you know, in the background somehow finagles it into existence, even though it really shouldn't do that. One of the advantages of being, you know, 30 years in the future and on right. an emulator. A lot of magic behind the scenes. But uh, thanks for watching, everyone. You know, we hope you enjoyed this. If you have any, uh, you know, questions, comments, concerns, whatever, 
uh, you know, hit us up on uh, Twitter. You can jump and reply down below because I'm I don't ever see any reason to not have YouTube comments. That's never gone south. Um, and we also have a really nice forum, which is where we're trying to grow a we're trying to grow a really nice DOS community of enthusiasts. Well, not just DOS, but just retro people from Amiga, Commodore, like the C sixty four. Um, you know, even the Macintosh people want you too. Yeah, we love old stuff that just does what you tell it to do. Yeah, and doesn't randomly grab news because apparently you maybe wanted news and you really didn't want news. I'm not a fan of the new uh, Windows 11 chart widget, but that'll end up in a tangent. Anyway, so yeah, thanks for watching everyone and we will see you in the next one. Peace.